Um, so tonight uh, I'm going to talk to you about a question which has been debated time and time again. Um, and it's an argument which has personally led me astray. And that is the question of, should I be a fox or should I be a hedgehog? This uh, is probably better known as um, the generalist, the fox, and the specialist, the hedgehog. Now, the idea of the fox and the hedgehog, uh, it was um, from a paper written about 50 years ago. Um, and it's from uh, Sir Isaiah Berlin, a philosopher. And this paper was written around the two ideas of there being two types of people. There is a hedgehog, and the hedgehog has um, a view of the world from one single standpoint. Uh, you know, it, it solves its problems for this one view. And there is the fox. The fox uh, has a variety of experiences which it draws upon to, to solve its problems. Um, and it, it can't boil everything down to one single idea. Now, the fox, AKA the generalist, um, they can market themselves to a much broader audience. They, they have many skills, many specialities, so they will always be employable. They have a really broad peripheral of knowledge and uh, they can work really well within multidisciplinary teams. And the hedgehog, uh, AKA the specialist, they're masters in their speciality. They, work, they know their work inside and out. They have a really streamlined process. And um, when it comes to selling their services, once they find their market fit, uh, it's, it's really easy for them generally. So there's a nice quote, which I think sums them up uh, both really well. Um, and it is, a philosopher is a person who knows less and less about more and more until they know nothing about everything. A scientist is a person who knows more and more about less and less until they know everything about nothing. Me, personally, um, you know, I've had a mammoth 16 jobs in the last 10 years. Now, uh, I just need to say now that a lot of them overlap, so you know, the average time on my job is not just eight months. Um, so, I have been, <laughs> I've been a cook, I've been a baker, I've been a barmaid and a cocktail waitress, I've been a receptionist, I've been a cleaner, I've been an uh, early years child carer, I have been a primary school IT teacher, I have been a search engine QA, I have been a hardware technician for a fashion brand, I have taught programming to adults, um, and I am a web developer at Adaptive Lab, and that is now turned into something like a creative technologist. During this time, I also studied uh, college, university, and past. Um, and there, I learned game making, animation, video production, sound design, um, web development, and then I went on to study uh, more focused on uh, full stack web development. Now, uh, I enjoyed. <laughs> I enjoyed these, uh, these, all these jobs a lot, and I pursued them mainly through interest. And um, in my mind, that means that I'm no doubt a fox. And skip. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, for being a fox, I have undoubtedly received a lot of crit criticism. And that is criticism right from school, where the education system really heavily encourages like, specialization. And uh, that's right through to my early career. But at the end of the day, I just like to learn new things. Now, a few years ago, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I couldn't resist. A few years ago, um, I had an interview at a well-known children's brand. Um, they now do shows, they do music, they make toys, and they do games for children. Uh, at the time, it, it was early days, so they really focused on game design. Now, when I first came across this company, it seemed like the perfect fit for me. It sat so nicely between all these key things that my career had led up to in this, to this point. Now, they were developers, they were designers, they, um, they programmed games, they programmed for the web, they, uh, they tested really heavily with a much younger audience. So early years children, they brought them in and they, they tested with them. So I had experience in all of these things. So it felt to me this really nice fit. Um, so I went for an interview and again and again they brought me back. Uh, each time I would go to the interview and it would be like, you're great, you're a perfect fit for this company, uh, you fit in really well, but the role just isn't right. So 
again and again. They brought me back for different roles. And it was really frustrating. Um, you know, I had spent so many years building up this knowledge. Um, and I felt I could be really valuable to this company. But what this company needed was I me mean, to be really good at one thing. I needed to be a fox for the company, and I needed to be the hedgehog for the specific role. Now, I guess I had to be both. So enter these oddly shaped people that we've been hearing so much about. So there's I people, there's the T people, there's the pie people, and there's the comb people. Now, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Um, I now believe that none of us can be programmed either one way or another. We, sorry, uh, you know, these terms, they, you know, they might come across as a little bit gimmicky at first, but if we really look at them and really think about them, all it's really saying is, you know, we, we shouldn't be one way or another. We, we draw from the people and the world around us and it pulls us out wide. And the human need to, to be good at something uh, pulls us up tall. So I, I eventually find my inner hedgehog. Um, and that's programming. Now, programming is something which I really enjoy. It's, it challenges me every day and it, it teaches me that you know, I need to keep learning every day new things. Um, so now, I'm not just a generalist, I'm a generalist with a speciality, a speciality I love. And I'm even now looking at specialising in my speciality. Now, this is great, but I will always be a generalist. And that is really reflected in my role here at Adaptive Lab that's ever evolving, and my huge list of hobbies. But for that, I'm now actually grateful, despite the criticism I received earlier in my career. Uh, after all, what good is it to know everything about one small thing if you don't know how it will fit into the world or how the world is going to affect it? Uh, that's Howard Marks, not the international drug smuggler. <laughs> um, so the realization that we, you know, that we can't, we shouldn't be one way or another. It, it brings us a lot of freedom into the way that we work. But with that, it brings along a whole bunch of new expectations from us. And becoming a master, it's hard. And it takes a lot of time. Some people argue it takes 10,000 hours. <laughs> now, in our lifetime, on average, we work over 90,000 hours. So, I guess if you're going on this 10,000 hour theory, that really gives us a lot of time to make one hell of a comb. Now, you know, personally, something that I have really struggled with, with being this multidisciplinary person, is that of context switching. I'm not gonna lie, it's really, really hard. Um, it's very counterintuitive to be going through my day-to-day, -day, you know, firing through my development tasks, and then all of a sudden being thrown out of my comfort zone into this really scary place. So why do I keep doing it? Well, it interests me. These different areas interest me. And um, by following my, er my passions and my interests, that's always going to keep me, keep me interested, keep me going, keep me passionate, and keeping me on top of my game. Now, I guess that you know, the more and more and more I do it, the easier it will become. And these dark, scary places will eventually become you know, much easier and, and I can start to grow in both directions. So, did, did anyone realise this was a fox and a hedgehog before? <laughs> um, so perhaps, you know, just to, just to finish up, um, you know, for me, at least, the question has changed. It's not about should I be this fox or should I be this hedgehog anymore. It's more about how do I find or shape or create an environment that allows me to be the way I am, that allows me to grow in both directions and you know, maybe eventually turn from the I to the T to the pie and eventually into the comb. Thank you. <laughs>